Hello everyone, welcome to the Best of Cat series by IMS. My name is Deepak Jaryal. Today we shall be looking at another question on arithmetic. Before we start the question, I would recommend that you please pause the video, attempt the question, and then we shall, we shall look at the approach. I hope everybody had paused the video. Now let's try to look at the question. The question says, Amal purchases some pens at 8 rupees each. So when they say some pens, I don't know how many pens, let's say P pens at 8 rupees each. All right. So the 8 rupees per pen is my cost. To sell these, he hires an employee at a fixed wage. Okay. So there's a fixed wage to be paid. He sells 100 of these pens at 12 rupees each. So now I, I can see that if P number of pens were bought in total, 100 of these pens were being sold at 12 rupees each. So if I remember, my cost per pen was 8 rupees each and my selling price per pen was 12 rupees each. So can I say I'm making 4 rupees profit per pen and how many pens are we selling? 100 pens. That would make us 100 times 4. 400 is my fixed amount of profit that I'm going to get through these 100 pens. Now what did they say? They said if, there's an if statement, that means it's a situation-based question, that if the remaining pens are sold at 11 each. So remember total number of pens that we had bought were P, 100 pens, we know the data about 100 pens, Remaining pens would become P minus 100. If these P minus 100 pens are sold at 11 rupees each. Now, if you remember, my cost was 8 rupees each and I'm selling them at 11 rupees each, which would make it, I'm going to make 3 rupees profit per pen. And how many pens are we selling? P minus 100. So total profit or total amount of money that I'm going to make through so these P minus 100 pens is 3 times P minus 100. Now, so far, if I do not read further, so far, this is the total amount of profit that I've made, right? Now, based on this particular profit, they said he makes a total profit, a net profit of 300 rupees. Is this my net profit? No. So 400 plus 3 times P minus 100 is the amount of money that I make in terms of profit. But if you remember, there was an employee that he had hired and he was supposed to be paid some fixed amount of wage. So if you remember, guys, when we try to find out your net profit, so net profit is calculated by finding out the total money that we make, subtract uh, the total cost that we incur, right? So if I find out the total cost that we can incur in terms of some maybe rents or uh, salaries, this is all a part of the costs. So what is my cost of this employee? Let's say X rupees is the fixed wage that we have to pay. So 400 plus three times P minus 100 minus X is the total net profit that is going to give us 300, all right? Now, the next part of the statement, if you remember, I told you it's a condition. The next part of the statement says, while he makes a net loss of rupees 300, if the remaining pens are sold at 9 rupees each. So there is not, no change as far as these 100 pens are concerned. That means I'm going to make 400 rupees profit for sure here. Now they're saying that if the remaining pens, that was P minus 100 pens, are being sold at 9 rupees each, which is still 1 rupee higher than, than my cost, right? Now that means I'm going to make one rupee profit per pen because of this P minus 100 pens. So total profit that I'm going to make is one times P minus 100. This is my total profit as of now, but the cost in terms of the wage has to be subtracted. So minus the employee cost has to be subtracted. That would give us my net profit or net loss. So in this particular situation, they say he created a, or he incurred a net loss of rupees 300. As you know, that loss would be represented with a negative sign. Now, if I can see that this is two equations and two variables, the answer can easily be had by just subtracting the second equation from the first one. So this would get cancelled. Three times P minus 100 minus one times P minus 100 would give us two times P minus 100. This X and X would also get cancelled. So 300 minus of minus 300 would give us 600. And P minus 100 is 300 or else P would be equal to 400. That means I know the total number of pens bought by Amal are 400. Now, what is my question? My question was, what is the wage of the employee? So I can find out the wage of the employee by putting the value of P in either of the two equations. So if I, if I use this equation, let's say, so 400 rupees I make here because of these 100 pence plus, what is P minus 100? I know P is 400, so P minus 100 would become 300. 300 times three would become 900. Minus X is equal to 300 that would give us the value of X is equal to 1000 rupees. So that means the wage of the employee is 1000 rupees. I hope everybody had understood the question. 
can there be an alternate approach to the question let's see that an alternate approach to the question can be looked at from this particular perspective as for 100 pence in both the situations there is no change that means i'm making 400 rupees in either ways if you look at the situation my pen at 11 rupees each i make rupees 300 if i sell my pens at 11 rupees each i'll be making 300 rupees profit net now if i sell my pen 9 rupees each that means i'll be making a loss of 300 that means this data tells me that if i reduce the price by 2 rupees per pen the total change in the money that i'm going to make is rupees 600 so a drop of 2 rupees per pen would create a total uh, revenue deficit to be equal to 600 rupees hope it is clear guys so that means the total number of pens you must have sold here at this particular cost is 300 let me repeat so 2 rupees drop leads to 600 drop in terms of the money that you're going to make so 2 rupees per pen leads to 600 drop that means the number of pens that you're going to sell here are 300 so 100 pens you had sold at 4 rupees profit and 300 pens are in the other situation so total number of pens are again 400 so i can find out the wage of the employee very easily so you know that this 400 is the total revenue that i'm going to make on the first 100 pens now in the next case three times 300 i'll be making the revenue in the remaining 300 pens let's try to take the first case itself and minus the employee wage is equal to let's say x which is the which comes to equal to how much i'll be making 300 profit so let's try to look at the value of x which is still equal to 1000 hope it is clear guys if you've understood the question i would recommend that you please attempt this question and write your answers in the comment section thank you so much 